Welcome. This video is part of a series of videos that will assist you in the proper installation of your PowerFlex 750 series drive. This video will assist you in understanding what a reactor is, why one would want to use a reactor on the line side of the drive, how to size a reactor, and negative effects of using a reactor. A reactor is essentially an inductor. Physically, it is simply a coil of wire that allows a magnetic field to form. Usually a ferrous material such as iron is added as a cord to the winding. Electrically, a reactor has the characteristic of storing energy and is reluctant to a change in current flow. One way to characterize a reactor is to calculate the impedance of the reactor. The impedance of a reactor is given by the equation x, x sub L equals 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance where the frequency of the reactor will be the frequency of the line voltage the reactor is seeing. In the US, this would be 60 Hz. Normally though, when selecting a reactor, the reactor will be offered as a percentage impedance, typically as a 3% or 5% reactor. This percentage represents the percentage of voltage drop across the reactor when the current flowing through the reactor is at the rated current of the reactor. If the transformer supply power to the drive is less than the maximum supply KVA corresponding value, no line reactor is required. If your supply transformer is larger than this value, a line reactor is recommended. For further details on understanding how this table was derived, reference the Drives-IN001 manual under the header AC Line Impedance. One of the advantages of installing a line reactor is to protect the drive from a voltage transient. This slide shows what happens when a 10 kVar power factor correction cap bank is switched in on a 500 kVA transformer rated 5.75% 480 volts and 60 hertz. The line voltage rapidly drops then when it recovers it overshoots to a peak voltage much higher than normal, over 800 volts. The drive DC bus voltage charges up to the peak value of the AC in, which is approximately 806 volts DC. The current to charge up to the higher voltage level is over 500 amps. Under these conditions, the drive could trip on an overvoltage or even be damaged because of the high current values. Rockwell Automation has online tools available for free to the public that can be used to determine if the motor has enough voltage provided to it. Simply by going to our online simulator transom, the user can put in site-related information about his simulation and to determine if the impedance associated with the drive is excessive or not. When the simulation is run, a quick determination can be seen as to whether the installation will have problems. Thank you for watching this video. For further questions and details on the use of line reactors, please contact your local Rockwell Automation distributor or Rockwell Automation technical support team.